On July 11th, 2012, I opened a YouTube channel because I love making videos and I wanted to share them with the world. My goal was actually 100 subscribers. And eight years later, we have over 16 million subscribers. I seriously wouldn't trade this for anything in the world. Hey Rug, wanna join the NBA? Nope, I wanna be a YouTuber. I don't consider you guys fans, we're family. When I talk to you guys, it literally feels like I'm talking to a good friend that I've known for years. I feel like I say it all the time, but I just want to show you all how grateful and appreciative I really am. Some of you watched me grow up since the day I started YouTube until now, and we grew together. If you're new to my channel, I love making people happy, I love making fun videos, and most of all, I love spreading positivity. The world definitely needs it right now. Today, I'm moving out of my house and I'm no longer living with my parents after 23 years. And I'm a family man, so this is going to be tough, but it's the start of my new life and you're all coming with me. This Saturday, August 8th, is the official reveal of my new house. Please do not skip through the video because it's going to be an emotional last day at my house and I promise you will get chills at the end. Oh yeah, and subscribe if you're new. Let's do this. This is actually where I took my first ever Instagram picture in this house. There was actually no lion here, but I was like, I was super hyped. First day at the house. It actually feels like it was just yesterday, but here we are today packing my final things. It's going to be an emotional day. We just wanted to take you guys on this little journey with me, show you guys what it's like for the last day at this house. I'm pretty sad, but I'm excited for the new beginnings coming. The new house is insane, but of course this is still very emotional to me. Ah, oh, this entranceway is beautiful, man. Oh yeah, my room didn't look like this when I first moved in. Remodeled a few months ago, but oh my gosh, dude. This is gonna take a while, but we're gonna take a trip down memory lane from the day that I moved into this house. I wanna take you through all my favorite memories of this house. I want you all right now to comment down below what your favorite memory of this house is. I wanna see your guys' opinion, because I know a lot of you guys have been watching me since I moved into this house, so we got a lot to cover, but I hope you guys enjoy. Starting with the entrance of the house, I can think of hundreds of videos that I've done here, but there is definitely one memory that sticks to me the most, and it's when I used to play the Ouija board, which was dumb on my end but we played here with my cousin Noor and she started getting like these bad chills feelings I like how that's like the first thing that I remember is the Ouija board but I also remember when I hit 7 million subs my parents threw me a little party here they have 7 million in balloons text over there with a bunch of balloons here and they told me to leave the house came back and that's the entrance that I saw. I moved in this house when I hit 5 million subs. So in this house, I gained 11 million subscribers, all thanks to you guys. I, I can't even wrap my head around that. But also remember when I put a giant swimming pool here and I filled it with dry ice? That was so sick. That was like one of the craziest experiments I've done. The smoke of the dry ice went through the entire house. I think we're gonna stay downstairs and go through some more areas. We walk into the first room that you see when you walk into the house and the one thing that comes to mind is Christmas. The last three years we celebrated Christmas in this room where we did all my Christmas gifts opening videos and spending time with the family. Every time we have a lot of people over, this is like the main hangout area. I remember when I first moved here and was looking at houses, I liked this room in specific because there's two rugs on the wall. And I was like, yep, this is, this is definitely the house. Let's keep going. Dude, I've done so many pranks in this home that like even when I walk in these hallways, I remember all these pranks. Who remembers when I did like this killer snowman breaking into my home? It was a little scary skit, but that was throughout the whole house. Killer clown. Right when I moved into this house, we did like a killer clown skit. And here we are in the living room. When I first moved to this house, who remembers the foam pit? I know you all remember the foam pit. So the one thing I wanted to do was bring the whole entire foam pit from my old house to this house and jump from there. That's when I was more crazy one prank that comes to the top of my head is the purge prank which you actually cannot find on my channel anymore because youtube deleted it i don't know why that was my favorite video of all time i'm not just saying that favorite prank of all time actually no cocaine prank exists but besides that there has been so many other memories here in the living room then you walk into the kitchen i have pranked my mom multiple times here one that comes to mind is the tic tacs and pill bottle prank And then I also did falling off the roof prank. Oh my God! <laughs> what is wrong with me? Besides like YouTube and stuff, we eat all our meals here, have a bunch of family time here. And, and yes, guys, this hallway, all the pranks, skits, 
when I did like the scary nun prank on Chanel and my dad dressed up as the nun and he stood at the corner over there. That was actually terrifying. Like that was really scary. Dude, The Office. I can think of like 10 videos off the top of my head. Woo! First thing that comes to mind is still here. When I surprised my dad with his new dream office, he loves Bosley and he loved that. I surprised him with a PC as well. Another thing that comes to mind is opening up a Gucci store. We filled this entire place, turned it into a Gucci store. So this is my mom and dad's old room. When we first moved to this house, this actually used to be a gym. There's a gym? Gym room. No way. A bed and a gym. What the? So we go in here and it's the laundry room. And one of my favorite things is this laundry chute. This is another reason why I wanted to move to this house. And I never like use this ever. And then we go to the master bedroom. Mom, are you here? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You okay? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're like, mom, you can't do this. You can't do this. <laughs> It's the last day. I've lived with my mom my whole entire life, 23 years. Yes. I'm yes. gonna miss you the most. Don't oh. tell that. No. <laughs> it's still hard for a mom to let go of her son. Oh, yeah. Leaving for the first ever time. But she's looking through a bunch of like old albums. Look, that's little me right there. I've been doing this for like two, three days. So much memories. But let me tell you guys something. There are some people, they live in the same house, families, and they're distant from each other. My kids, wherever they go, they're here. In of my course. Heart. Always, always. Love you, mom. Love, Love you, so, you much. so much. You know, me and Santa, family pics. Okay, mom, I will see you soon. Love you. Love you too. Oh, no, dude, this room. The one thing that comes to my mind is when I filled my parents' bathroom up with Orbeez. I think I ordered 5 million of them. I also spent 24 hours in glue. Worst day of my life, I could say. That was the most horrible challenge of all time, but we did it here in this bathtub and that's memorable to me. It's crazy like I hated this house when I first moved here and then I finally grew to love it. So it literally feels like home now. So it's really hard. Now the upstairs, let's make a right here. My brother's Amari Stoudemire signed son's jersey. We got my brother's, oh shoot, Brandon, you're here? I had to be here for the last day, bro. Come here, bro. Oh my gosh. I don't want to get up, guys. We don't have to. <laughs> no, cut the camera. Ta da! Dude. <laughs> it's your favorite NBA player right here, LeBron James. Dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Right after the prank, Brandon, I promise you, bro, I'm gonna get the room painted a different color. I'm, I'm gonna change it. It was just for the prank. We are eight months removed from that next day. Okay, and, um, but you forgot still... the best thing that I did when you first moved to this house, not the second time. Fire! What the <laughs> f is there? Move! You're good, he's away. No, <laughs> oh my no. God. Babe, I told you. That's not my best or favorite moment. I Guys. ended up on the roof. He actually ended up going on this balcony. Guys, I wasn't even scared of a python. I was just trying to make the video more interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna miss living with you, bro. Bro, I'll see you soon. Please come over a lot, okay? This room. If you guys could see, half of it is purple and orange. This used to be my brother's, I think, editing room. So I surprised him with purple and orange walls for the suns. And then when he moved out, I turned it into a Fortnite room, but we were too lazy to like paint the other side. So it's like more half and half. Yeah, I mean, this is where my gaming setup was the whole entire time that I lived here. And I just recently moved it there. This room has a lot of memories. I mean, even though I don't upload gaming as much, I still love gaming. I game almost every single day and I do stream here and there. I do post on my gaming channel here and there, but in the new house, let's just say there might be a room dedicated to that and I might be consistent on it. Oh man, dude. I don't even want to know like when we go to the backyard, how many memories I have there because almost half my videos were filmed in this backyard, but this view is what sold me for the house. Like, I mean, just take a look. I don't even golf, but when I first saw this, I was like, there's no way we're passing up a house with that kind of view. It's beautiful. I love it. It's green. When you wake up in the morning, this is what you want to see. This is my motivation. Grab a cup of coffee. Think of what I'm going to do that day. And, and I'm always forever thankful every time I step on this balcony and look at that view because I'm like, this would not have been possible without you guys. Like I said in the beginning, I started in 2012 and my goal was 100 subscribers. And like it turned into this. And then on top of it, 
we just bought another house so like i don't even know you guys are crazy with the support i love you guys to death and i think we should head to the backyard to start talking about the memories Woo, the backyard the iconic backyard the iconic view the iconic pool the iconic back of the house i don't even know where to start here but of course the one thing that comes to mind is turning my backyard into a backyard water park i would always bring inflatables always have a bunch of people over have some fun summertime videos and you know those were always great but another thing that i remember is when i first moved to this house i had a challenge you guys all know the ogs who used to watch me i used to have a challenge where i threw golf golf balls from here all the way to the hole right there and I kept trying to make a hole in one like the day that I made a golf ball in there like the video had to hit like 500,000 likes or something I ended up never doing it because I got complaints like I said they just hated me but I obviously I didn't throw them when there was people golfing I waited until it was like closed I wasn't putting anyone in danger but you know I ended up getting fined and I couldn't do it anymore I used the slingshot once and I almost made it it skipped the hole Please play that. <laughs> Come on, please. Oh, 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 this hot tub has a lot, man. It, it, I mean, I put a bunch of bath bombs in here, fake pooped in here. I spent 24 hours in here and I literally almost passed out in the morning. I've played Fortnite in here. I've, I've done a lot in this hot tub and I put glitter in here. There's just so much, but the one thing I am gonna miss is the view, of course. Like when you sit in this hot tub, this view is just undefeated. Like you just can't beat this. And then surprisingly, my pool is blue now, which it never happens because of all the crazy stuff that I've done to this pool. One thing that comes to mind is alligators snakes i've done a few pranks in here actually i got a fake pug doll i threw it in the pool and i pretended my dog was drowning and my mom jumped in the pool and i don't know that that was a great memory though that was one of my favorite pranks of all time my dad ended up pranking me he pretended to drown in here like what is wrong with my family now that i think about it like wow we're cruel i mean a lot of things happened in this house the pranks were on another level but we got a new place to do that next I remember playing real life Mario Party. Like we brought a board game here and we made that, did like mini challenges with it. The amount of challenges I've done in this house is unreal. My dad built this water slide not too long ago. And I mean, we built a ton of stuff. I've done a lot of slip and slide videos here where I used to do like, don't slide into the wrong mystery slip and slide. And we had them set up right here. I did like, don't drive through the wrong door in the golf cart. That was a fun video this was actually supposed to be like a basketball court but we never got time to do it my dad built a lego tree house you know this is where we keep all of our youtube props every time i need something i could think of so many memories just from looking into this room like when we built lola her dream house there's just too many i mean i might have to bring a lot of this stuff to the new house i remember when me and my dad stacked a bunch of boxes like eight by eight boxes brought the projector out and turned my swimming pool into an actual game room and it was crazy I literally played Fortnite from a floaty in my pool on this giant green made out of boxes we always try to get creative with my videos and you know that's just why I have fun with them it's like I get to use my mind I get to be creative and most of all I get the support from you guys to make me keep going but one last thing with the pool is when we drained all the water and turned it into a crazy gaming room like I love gaming rooms but that one was really sick you guys seem to love that as well this side of the backyard I remember the tinder video we did here that was funny we got like really messy here for a challenge we did like last to shower and then I remember playing ghillie suit hide and seek and I hid behind there and i was there for an hour with a bunch of spiders around me just hoping that this video would end we've had a ton of family gatherings here parties and this is where my dad used to barbecue you opened a restaurant here didn't you we did open a restaurant good memory good memory we opened a restaurant here my dad cooked here guys the crazy thing is like the new house has all this but a lot more so like it's just it's just crazy we're gonna start a new era a new background a new everything it's gonna look so different but i think it's gonna go crazy i'm so excited and if you guys are gonna miss my mom and dad all i could say is that my parents are still gonna be a part of my channel as much as they are now we're just not gonna be living together so it's not that big of a deal but to me it is it's a lot different than when we first moved in i mean it's, it's pretty messy but i had my phase of secret rooms and i just 
wanted so hard to believe that this was a secret room when I first moved in here, but it just connects to like our living room and it's like the back of the TV, but I made it seem like it was a secret room. Like, oh dude, this basketball hoop, man. I can't even tell you the memories with this. My dad surprised us with an actual basketball hoop and about six months ago, he created this basketball court for us. And you know, me and my whole family, we're all into basketball. So this meant the world to us. And I mean, the amount of times I beat my dad, my brother, friends, Noah, like, <laughs> the amount of times I've beat people on this court, like I gotta have a new home court advantage. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you know, so I surprised my dad with a golf cart and it turned out to be Bosley's favorite thing in the world. So this is basically Bosley's golf cart. Bosley doesn't go on walks anymore. He goes on drives. So this is what we use to drive him around the neighborhood. And of course the Lamborghini. I purchased this for my dad about a year and a half ago and he loves it. So this isn't as important as it used to be in my life, but I bought a ton of cars here. You know, my first ever Lamborghini, that's something I will always be proud of. I was 19 years old and I purchased my first ever Lamborghini. Then, you know, I got my dad a Lamborghini. You know, I actually got a Urus for a little bit and then I'm like, I don't really need this. So I ended up buying a Lambo for my dad. And everyone knows my song, Going Live. This is the G-Wagon I talk about. G-Wagon, I pull up like skirt. skirt. I actually bought my mom a new car here. Like I've bought, I don't know, like the memories here in this house, like in this main driveway is just so memorable to me. And I'm happy. I'm actually really, really happy that we're not selling this house. I feel like we're going to keep this one forever. So if we were selling it, it would have been a different story. All right, Papa Rug just pulled up. Last time I'm going to be waiting for him from work. Dad. Yeah, Brian. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's Last up? day. Don't remind me. Imagine he's like, yes, yes, yes. No, I'm just <laughs> hey, hey, my dad's gonna miss me. I oh already know. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's not the day I wanted to come. Yeah. We're taking the fans on a trip down memory lane of like our favorite memories of the house. Oh yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> so with you, I have one in specific. So let's go to the spot. So my favorite memory with you, there's a lot, like a lot of like building videos, a lot of like fun moments and stuff. But the main thing that I remember happened. Oh mom, you're still looking at pictures. I'm, I'm, back. I, I, I'm cleaning up, I swear. I <laughs> swear that I didn't know they were coming. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Dad, I think we were sitting, it was on like a mattress on the floor. Yeah, or something. it was right here. It was like over here and I handed my dad a check for a hundred thousand dollars to basically pay off his entire store and retire him basically. That was the best thing. I mean, that's crazy. That age, you did it like what, two years ago? I did it at 21. So to be able to say that I retired my dad from work at age 21. And I'm telling you, like I've said this a lot, but like without your guys' support, you're the reason why I was able to do that at that young of an age. So that's definitely one of my craziest, best memories in this whole entire house. That yeah, was I mean, this is the biggest things you did for me i mean but this moment it was big for me you know like my son at age 21 he retired me from work i don't want to sit 100 percent at home yeah i was just still going like kind of like part-time you know just so when i say up. my dad's at work he literally goes to like maintain it because like he's so used to being there so like he goes yes. to check on his employees and to like actually he still works because he wants to that's just like the mentality of a hard-working man but dad do you have anywhere in this house in specific that you have your favorite memory like my favorite favorite thing is when I come from work and I see this one in my wall oh yeah this yeah. is the best thing for me like me and Bosley you know that was the biggest surprise I love this like, and the computer came with it remember the, yeah the computers they set up my office and this is the the perfect painting it was so so nice literally it's my dad's <laughs> twin I didn't think you could paint that well there are so many things even right here like the hot wheels track the high wheel track oh my god this that is took, the best thing that took 12 hours 12 Just hours sick. going all around the house and it, it worked guys. it worked it was sick we don't have it anymore but we had a basketball papa shot here every single night every night me my dad and Brandon would play pig or horse we always reminisce like every night like oh remember when we did that remember when we did this now it's time to make some new memories at the new house and dad you're gonna be a huge part of that oh, yeah. i need you sure. i need you i'll be there anytime okay. anytime you call me i'll be there let's go let's go okay guys the moving truck is right behind me i think it's time <laughs> don't stop well you know what i want to say good luck 
I'm gonna miss you a lot. Thank you for everything. You've done so much, so much, not only for us, for everybody else. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Thank, thank you for making me a proud mama. Can't wait to hear my dad's really? speech. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no, uh, um, now I'm I know already, when, when you're you, mature enough. When your mom talk, I already get emotional <laughs> because it's the way she talk is like automatic emotion. <laughs> you know what? Um, I really am gonna miss everything. Mm. It's okay, let's get one last hug, guys. Okay. <laughs> I'll miss you guys for real. I'm gonna miss oh. every minute like we spent on this. <laughs> okay. and how hard so, okay. dad worked with him and they have a big bond. I have fun, I enjoy, so I enjoy every minute. I mean, <laughs> this is sad, man. I mean, it's okay. I'm gonna be with you guys all the time. This is the step in the right direction. I trust you now. You're old enough, you're mature enough, and I know you're gonna do great things and it's for your fans too yes thank you guys okay last hug come on last hug and i'll see you guys soon okay, okay. all right i love Aww. you guys i love you guys to death all right come on guys that's so emotional man you good yeah saying bye to my mom and dad not ever living with them again that hits different for real but it's time to go to the new house oh. the moving company is bringing all my stuff and I'm, I'm really excited this is gonna be my first day at the new house okay. I'm gonna miss this neighborhood too I mean this neighborhood is beautiful green all around it's literally just a whole different life that we're about to start living man <sighs> I hope you guys are ready I hope you're ready to see the house oh my gosh there it is, my new house and the start of a new era.